In this video, we're going to give a bit of an overview to the display controls in the edit curve. So we come to cross section and bring up our edit curve window. You'll notice that for this uh, model that we have, we already have an image set in the background. And this helps us illustrate some of these parameters that we can adjust. In a different video, we're going to talk about specifics of how to control the image background and how to match things up. For the purposes of this video, we're just looking at some of the features of the display tab. So you may recall that we can change the color of this line by choosing any one of these colors, or you can set your own RGB values. You can also choose to change the point color by iterating the start ID of those points. You can make the points bigger or smaller as you choose. You can also change the line thickness. And this is just going to help the lines and the points on this plot match up a little bit easier. In the background, you can choose whether or not to show the grid so that you can make these lines in the image in the back pop really nicely, or you can leave it on to know where your points are in space. You can choose to show or hide the axis or the border, and this is kind of you want to catch a screen grab, and you can say turn all of these off and get a nice uh, image here. The image button will activate the ability to browse for a PNG or a JPEG file or a bitmap, to place this in the background here. And then again, we're gonna cover some of these uh, image settings later. But know that when you zoom in or manipulate this cross section here, you might get lost or you might lose it and want to reset. So if you click reset, zoom and pan, that's going to snap it back to its default settings. You can also choose to reset the background. And what this will do, if we click on it, will get rid of all of these other parameters. And so the line is set to black, the point color is turned off, the image is gone, it doesn't even remember where it was. Everything has, be, has been reset. And so while we're taking a look here, recall that OpenVSP with the curve editor can do three-dimensional cross sections. And so you can either come through and set these points manually with the Z parameter, or you can come to a top or a left view. And from here, you can start to drag these around and give this some depth. So if I move this over here, we can see that now, because I'm dragging this top point, we can give that top point some depth. Now we haven't necessarily adjusted the scale of this cross section in any way. This is simply a coordinate and it's doing a transformation and it's placing it in space for you. So. This can get very complex. This was a simple linear demonstration of, say, a pentagon, where you can imagine that if we apply some corner rounding to these, we get into a bit more in-depth on the controls, that this can become very complex very fast. So again, in other videos, we're going to talk into greater detail of how to control these and some best practices. This just gives you a bit of an orientation into the display tab. And again, in a follow-up video, we'll talk about how to use images in the background. 